Hi, my name is Rick Goltz. I'm from the Woodlands, Texas. I want to tell you a little bit about me and uh, why laminite has made such a big difference in my life. Uh, I grew up in Canada and I played professional football there for 10 years. I played uh, five years for the BC Lions, my hometown of Vancouver. I played a year in Calgary with the Stampeders. I played uh, four years with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders and I played a year for the Los Angeles Raiders. So I had a, a great career, got to do what I loved, I got paid for it. But I suffered a lot of injuries. I've had 14 different surgeries uh, during and after football, uh, but it was worth it. I love playing the game, I got to do what I love and they even paid me for it. Um, and I signed up for the, the physical injuries, I knew that was going to happen. What I didn't understand and what I've realized since is a lot of the damage done to my brain. Um, Football is a collision sport. It's not a contact sport. Dancing's a contact sport. Football is a collision sport. And back when I learned how to play football, they taught us to use our head as a weapon. That's why they gave us a helmet. They said, you put a helmet on, that's why. You use it as a weapon. And I did, and I did it very well. Um, and I suffered a lot of concussions. As a matter of fact, back then, they didn't even really call them concussions. It was just, you got your bell rung, you know, tape an aspirin to it. Not a big deal. How many fingers do you have, Rick? Uh, two? Okay, go back in, you're fine. It was just a part of the game. And, you know, you'd recover from it short term. Uh, never really thought about it after the game, but I learned years later that that damage gets worse and worse and worse. And it contributed to a disease called chronic traumatic encephalopathy that a lot of retired football players and other athletes are suffering from severely. A lot of athletes, football players in particular, have committed suicide due to this disease, due to the c collisions, due to the concussions, due to the brain damage that they suffered because of it. Well, I didn't know any of this a year and a half ago when I was introduced to laminite. I just knew that I was suffering from depression. I knew that I'd wake up most mornings in such a dark place that the only way I could get through the day was to be on my face on the floor praying to God to please help me through this day. I was just overwhelmed and then that was how I, how I dealt with it. Well, within a short period of time, less than a week of taking laminine, that all changed. I'd wake up in the morning and I'd go, oh, wow, I feel great. I don't have this feeling anymore. And it just really changed my life. And what it also has done for me is made me passionate about sharing because I know there's thousands of athletes out there not just football players, but soccer players, military people, basketball players, wrestlers, that are going through the same thing that I, I did, and worse. And they need this. I know that because I've reached out to several guys that I played with, and the, and the conversation was the same every time. You know, I'd call, and some one I hadn't talked to in 25 years, and he was just so moved that I called him, and he said, Rick, why, why after all this time are you calling? And I told him, I said, what I've been experiencing and what had changed, how laminine had changed. And he just said, how soon can I get that? I said, why? He says, well, what you're, what you're saying has been way worse for me. So I made sure he got it real quickly. And soon after that, I got an email from his wife, Joanne, just thanking me, thanking me for getting her husband back. She said he's just a different man. He's a totally different now that he's taken laminine. So I know absolutely that there's a thousands of people out there athletes but other people as well that their lives would be totally changed if they were taken laminine and I just my mission is to do whatever I can to get this message to them so I can help them I know there's guys that have died and I know that if they would have had laminine they might still be around so this is also about saving lives so that's my mission and I, I invite whoever wants to come on this mission with me to join me and help save some lives and help a lot of people. Thank you.